yes try to force because students always apply forcefully they want to speak english when teacher is putting the pressure on them if how are you yeah i'm doing great thanks for asking what about you yeah i'm also doing well okay so are you a youtuber yeah i'm a youtuber okay this type of content you made on your youtube channel uh currently i am posting just making conversational video in i upload okay but yeah so we both are stranger for each other so let's start our conversation with a brief introduction yes your so <clears throat> my name is sandeep i come from jharkhand my major is accounts and finance and currently i am teaching in a private school and uh, i enjoy reading books traveling learning languages and talking with the strangers so yeah it's all about me that's wonderful now it's my turn actually i am also a private school teacher <laughs> so that's amazing this is the conversation between two teachers yeah i am preeti and basically i am from haryana and right now i am living in bahadurgarh that is near new delhi i am a teacher simultaneously i am running my two youtube channel one is uh, uh, this channel easy way to learn with preeti that is related to study and another channel is easy way vlog that is my entertaining channel that's all about me mm, uh, entertaining a uh, channel and one is a study channel yeah one is study channel and another is vlogging channel okay okay so in a study channel uh, what kind of content do you upload yeah actually i have made my channel i created my channel in 2022 and in starting i was regularly uploading videos related to ncert syllabus some grammar topic but in the mid of the 2023 i was not uh, regular on that channel because of some busy schedule yeah. Okay. but right now i am uh, be consistent on my channel from february and from february 2024 i am doing this type of conversation but sometimes i do uh, i made solo videos also okay okay our next one is blogging channel you do blog in english uh, language or in hindi in hindi that is my native language yes and i am not regularly vlogging there uh, sometimes i upload videos related to dance i like dance. i am very big fan of dance music oh so that's just for entertaining and uh, you can say uh, i want to li- i want to record the memories of my life that's why i created that channel okay okay that's a good idea you know uh, when whatever we upload on any social media it's remain you know in server doesn't matter whenever and after 10 years mm-hmm. you know it is a best way for example if you purchase a new phone even a new pen drive new hard disk after just a two or three years you can say you lost your pen drive even you mm-hmm. you know you lost your pen drive you will change your phone your phone will be damaged even sometime it will be lost and uh, you have to change your phone so you can see there is a lot of data has been you know lost that was really hmm. important data but i uploaded yeah. you know i have i have been using internet internet uh, maybe uh, since uh, 2012 11 i i have remember that, that time i was a 3 uh, 3g phone so you know i have uploaded uh, some photos on my google accounts as well as in different kind of facebook accounts you know sometimes that time i was forgetting i uh, i had created so many accounts but <laughs> later on i forgets the passwords so whatever yeah. i uploaded i can access i can see the things and hmm. uh, you know i have changed so many phones even a memory card and all data has been lost so it is the best way if you want to uh, collect your memory store your memory always try to store uh, re- in remote server hmm. yeah i think it happens earlier with most of people and now youtube is the best pl- platform uh, where you can upload where you can save your memories so uh, yeah. uh, apart from that okay tell me which subject teacher you are mm, computer science okay computer science that's nice so uh, obviously that- already i have told you you know i enjoy reading books and uh, learning languages and uh, talking mm. with the strangers 
okay and, uh, traveling so mm. <clears throat> yeah so the first one is i enjoy reading books so i uh, yeah first thing i consider and traveling i never tried so many places but i like to travel okay that is your hobby okay so if you will get the chance to travel any place like first in india or maybe in foreign so which place is in your mind like i have to visit there uh, you know i have to go uh, uk and us okay. and what is the because, region region because you know uh, first region is i am learning language and i want to connect with native speaker imitate with native speaker i want to live in such type of environment where people is speaking in english i can understand i can you know engage so mm. that's why i want to even in future i have to go because you know simultaneously i am a student i am preparing for some exam mm good and in india which is your favorite place in india you know in my bucket list i have to go vrindavan mm. ayodhya and uh, mm, you know ayodhya and uh, kailas and sorry kailas okay. i forget the name uh, sang what is the name i forget okay let it be hmm so are you a spiritual because you told these two three things yeah, i i am not a fully spiritual but uh, i am i belong to hindu dharm so i respect my dharm hmm. and i try to be you know good person okay you want to connect with the spiritual uh, place especially that's very nice okay so uh, if you have any query you can ask otherwise i will ask okay yeah just i want to ask about your english journey and uh, uh what do you do to learn english because mostly you know uh, because i just i want to tell you i have been learning or talking uh since uh, jane uh, jane 12 2024 last 3 months or 4 months but i have been speaking uh maybe for uh, feb 2024 just uh, two or three yeah three months hmm hmm same same happened with me um i started conversation from february 2024 but yes i am in teaching profession for more than 10 years and in starting i was not habitual to speak english because that time i uh, i started my teaching journey as a mother teacher of second class and there i learned a lot of new skills no, lot of new things how to speak with students how to handle junior students and then gradually i uh, upgrade my teaching skills and uh, right now i am teaching pgt classes uh, 5th to 10th classes and i have experience of uh, pgt classes also so right now i am fully habitual and fully confident to speak english to english with my students no matter sometime yes uh, if i am teach, uh, taking grammar classes because i am an english teacher language teacher so uh, it's compulsory for me to speak english every mm-hmm. time but yes if i am taking grammar classes so sometimes i use bilingual only to make my student understand because in class there are every type of students like uh, the level of students some are beginner some are uh, weak students some are brilliant student but with brilliant student i always use english to english and on my channel two my uh, two and three students of my uh, school they also did conversation with me and i uploaded their conversation on my channel so they feel really happy um, after talking with me and uh, about my teaching journey yes uh, in starting i was uh, not uh, in the in, in i was not in this type of confidence but gradually with the time and with the practice and with the consistency now i am fully confident i have no fear no phobia <laughs> whether the another person is beginner intermediate or maybe expert and uh, last month i have taken um, eight sessions with english ere tutors also so there i learned a lot of new skills yeah i when i know uh, uh, yeah, i have talked with some uh, uh, good person or good learner like you know uh, they have gone to jaws talk like uh, hmm. english village english corner one lady hmm. her name is um, okay i forget her name next one is uh, so i have talked with uh, some uh, good uh, maybe some you know they have gone to jostock hmm 
So yeah, I mean, even because you know, the when uh, I have been talking or learning since Jan 2024, so that time I used to talk with only native speakers. So okay. after talking continuously, I talked with native speaker one month, or maybe hmm. more than one month. Then that time I was realizing that to speak English is just a cup of tea, or no need to think, no need to go through the long journey. But uh, later hmm. on, all they become busy, and uh, nowadays I'm connected, but they are not. You know, we we are not talking each other. So later on, I come in this platform like that. So, you know, we are connecting. Uh, so right now, so <clears throat> then I realize that we have to go through the long journey. Long journey means yeah. you know, <laughs> reading, writing, or speaking, grammar, phrasal verbs, idioms, phrases, a lot of things, and it is a con, you know, like a journey, not a destination. Mm. So that's why I realize, and I am working on it. So that's why I am also uh, talk with any person, even a native speaker with confidence. Even in my YouTube channel, I have uploaded uh, so many videos which talk with uh, you know I have talked with native speakers. Okay, you know, uh, Mr. Sandeep, English is not a journey of uh, four five months or maybe for one year. Mm -hmm. it, it's a lifelong yeah. process. It means we learn till the from the worm to tomb. And uh, from our beginning to the end of the last breath of our uh, life. Yes, sure. And if you are a teacher, it is really uh, important for you. Um, surely you have to upgrade with the time, upgrade new skills, how to speak, and uh, the type of teaching skill you have to adopt for teaching in the school. And uh, maybe if you are taking online and offline classes, because there is competition as well as uh, every student wants a uh, expert teacher. That's why I think you have to be upgraded with the time. Yeah, I go, you know, in my field, I'm expert already. I'm an expert hmm. ID teacher. Yeah, even uh, I have no, you know, a specific degree. Just I have a certification of IT sectors, or you know, but I'm a very expert. Whenever you know, whenever I talk to a student, a student says, Sorry, "Why you are." So how did you become so expert in IT sector? You can even, uh, you know, I teach programming in basic level. There is no programming language, but still I can teach. So I because I whenever I was, you know, when I was kid, I uh, I was having interest in IT sectors and you know computers. So that's why if you have any interest in any area, you know, even you have a little knowledge, but you can upgrade anytime mm -hmm. because you are interested. You can working on that field uh, even without looking the clock. The mm -hmm. same thing. And when I was a child, I was thinking one day I can speak English fluently, confidently, and whatever I see, whatever I watch in English movie, so I can understand perfectly. So, you know, uh, so uh, it was my childhood dream, but uh, I become, you know, sometimes I forget what we have to do. But we realize mm -hmm. later on, yeah, we have to do, but we have forgotten. So, yeah, again, so that's why in this year, I created our New Year's resolution that in this year, I have to be fluent. I can talk okay. with anybody with fully and or confidently. So that's why I'm working on my English. Hmm. Even so, whenever yeah, I talk, yeah. even I mean my school, uh, the teaching medium is English or as well as Hindi, even a Hindi, I think. So, you know, uh, so in this year, I told my student in this year, I'm going to in this session, I'm going to teach you in English. So, you know, hmm. the students are facing a lot of problems. They are not able to understand perfectly. They're hmm. telling, sir, why you are teaching me in English when I'm not getting anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. And even they are not trying to understand as well. But some mm -hmm. students, uh, some kids, they, you know, they like, even they want to, they always engage in my YouTube channel, they watch my YouTube videos, and they always, <clears throat> but some they don't like, even they sort of speak in Hindi because I want to understand, mm -hmm. not I want to be fluent. But I say, you have to be a speak, you have to be learn English later on because, you know, importance of English in uh, India. Mm -hmm. Because every, in every sectors, in every uh, field, you can see there is a craze. If you don't know mm. English, maybe you will face a lot of problem. Ultimately, you have to learn in future. So it will be better to start mm. from the today. Mm. So, yeah. yeah, it is the necessity. It is the necessity of uh, modern time. And definitely, they are students. They are uh, very young in age. And in their later part of life, they will understand. Like we are understanding now. <laughs> yeah. Just we can realize when we are a wise, you know, a student. Really, we was uh, scared to learn. English or you know speak English. Hmm. I also face this type of problem like with students. Yesterday, um, yesterday was holiday in my school as 
there is an election in haryana but yesterday when i was teaching you know one of my students said uh, he is from 9th standard and he said ma'am i am not understanding what you are speaking every time in english period mm-hmm. so <laughs> sometimes it is difficult but yes i always try to force because students always apply forcefully they want to speak english when teacher is putting the pressure on them if i allow them you can speak your native language you can speak in hindi definitely they will never try mm-hmm. so yes okay so let's uh, start one uh, activity like uh, tell me any five famous personalities name and uh, whom you like the most and tell me uh, the two five. regions five. yes five personalities okay, and okay. tell me the two two regions also why you like the them okay the first one is uh, nikola tesla have you heard about the nikola tesla no okay next one is elon musk yes i heard about him yes. uh, third one is uh, swami vivekananda okay and uh, currently i am follow only three person and uh, later on there is a so many person i can follow but uh, instead of five i can say only three no need to follow maybe the personality name is should be in your mind like uh, i like this person the most mm, let me think oh, for two more maybe Rat- ratan tata okay <clears throat> and uh, and uh, pm our pm hmm yeah okay okay tell me the reason also why you like to yeah the first one uh, nikola tesla you must have to heard about you know nikola tesla so nikola tesla was a great scientist even they have invented a you new know, wireless electricity whatever you know we now currently we are using uh, <coughs> wifi whatever it is you know all about credit goes to nikola tesla Okay. so nikola tesla i have inspired from nikola tesla you know he uh, he was a you know book addicted person or he was uh, he can he sleep only he was sleeping only 2 hours in a day yeah, mm-hmm. he uh, he was following uh, parafolic i forget the words how to pronounce it, this sleeping name so sleeping so just in sleeping just you have to take the rest nap you know after mm-hmm. a uh, you know a gap long time, long time yeah, of then you have to get, uh, mm-hmm. take a rest so mm. uh, you know the person they have a great mind uh, you know they have to do something for the country for the society for the world so they mm. forget to sleep they ne- they never pro- you know a pre- a give pro- a preference or priority to sleep even they mm. want to work continuously so really i uh, want to follow even uh, he was a book uh, reader even he was uh, he uh, used to read book continuously two or three days continuously even you know he was banned uh, from university or you know college a school i forget maybe college uh, because the, he continuously read two or three days so okay. yeah so i am a book reader already i told you in my hobby i am mm-hmm. a book reader so in, just inspired by nikola tesla i become book reader mm. and uh, the okay. second one is nikola T- uh, sorry you know uh, elon musk elon musk you everybody mm. know that he is a really inspiring person Uh, for the youth so also hmm. i inspired from nikola tesla even you know uh, his company name one name is uh, tesla car tesla electric hmm. car so you know this hmm. name has taken from nikola tesla he also inspired from nikola tesla and this name has taken from nikola tesla and he also uh, he also follow nikola tesla's rules and something like that so yeah he is also great person so i ins- uh, follow them and uh, yeah even he saw tall one quote you know if you want to learn anything just you have mm-hmm. to ta- read a lot of books and talk with the same minded person for example you know currently i'm following the same thing i am a book reader i read a lot of books even whenever i get chance i talk with uh, you know co learner and just doing the two things i can see i'm improving my english the same thing happen or the next one is swami vivekananda you know just following swami vivekananda i am a kind of you know like brahmachari do you know what is brahmachari mm-hmm. yes yeah. yes <clears throat> yeah so i am a kind of person even uh, i you know i don't eat any i am a vegetarian you can say like that okay so, good mm-hmm. yeah so uh, so uh, yeah and for two rest i have 
chosen current uh, you know uh, just uh, now so i have to think about uh, for ratan tata is a very simple person and uh, <laughs> even he is a very person. rich person Nena. yeah kind yeah. or simple yeah and you know his company is running more than 120 countries i forget the name even i have read in my book but i forget but he is a very simple person even you know if even he donate uh, maybe 60% their money or oh, sorry his hmm. money or next one is uh, you right. know prime minister so you can yeah. we can inspire from prime minister even we can start from you know zero if you have a mm-hmm. dream if we, if we have a desire so we can do anything we can achieve anything if we have a mm-hmm. learn, burning desire so yeah so nice uh, every person have different perspective and really nice uh, your uh, selection is really nice uh and uh, you know one thing uh, which i observed while uh, speaking your speaking is very nice no doubt i think this is the effect of practice consistency and you have already done the practice in that is because also but which i observed you should uh, connect with eye contact like uh, whenever you are doing conversation with anyone i think eye contact is a main a point which you should follow because you uh, you are looking here and there it means oh yeah, yeah i got it <laughs> yeah yeah okay i will try to you know body language i think is called yeah, so, yeah. that is a Next part time, of body language yeah yeah it is also a way to yeah. communicate uh, in yeah. a body language say something so yes. yeah next time i will try to focus <laughs> yeah yeah definitely because when we do uh, like uh, when we want to crack an interview and then we want to connect with anyone definitely it is the main uh, effective part of our interview our speaking part our conversation part or uh, yeah you can see a major part of body language like how you are standing how you are sitting how you are connecting right so okay so thank you so yeah. much have a nice thank day thank you okay bye bye